have you guys seen the Kamala Harris Vogue cover? Do you guys give a crap? I do in passing. I guess there's a lot of there's a lot of um, hoopla about it on the social media feed. It was quite funny because I think a lot of people were basically getting annoyed because I think at first everyone thought it was Annie Leibovitz that took the pictures and she, she's had a bit of a um, weird let's say fall from grace but she's not exactly i guess received that well online i don't know what it is maybe because she's white maybe because her photographs are pretty shit and the last ones i think she did maybe with serena williams people weren't too fond of them they weren't lit, lit properly there's a whole conversation around um the lack of expertise with um caucasian photographers in terms of lighting skin color that isn't white or whatever it may be or it's a bit darker bloody blah blah blah, blah. Um, and initially everyone thought the images were done by Annie Leibovitz it obviously wasn't it was done by this other um, photographer a black dude New Yorker I forgot his name Tyler something right I think it is right so that, that was quite funny to see people walk it back but in terms of actual images uh, this is the main image I think for the actual cover itself it's pretty terrible isn't it um, again putting aside Kamala Harris's politics because we can get into that another day you know, wearing skinny jeans on a Vogue cover with a blazer and a pair of Converse's is just, again, it's just polit politicians, man. Like this whole kind of like, it's like, um, this is like the, this is like the female version of like, you know, male politicians where, where they're trying to look like they get into work, they don't wear a tie and they roll up their sleeves to kind of send a uh, subliminal message that they're kind of going to get their hands dirty. And this might be the way to sort of um, show that you are just like me and you, right? I'm an, I'm a, you know, um, what, what, they, what they call themselves. Um, she's a person of color as well, right? Um, she comes from the struggle. Um, she knows what it is to live the life that you're living. So here she is wearing a pair of skinny jeans and some cons. She's going to go get the work done. She doesn't take herself too seriously. Um, it's about giving back to their people, blah, blah, blah. But again, it is also weird because it's a really good mixture of like business casual or smart casual. I think it was an episode of In Between is where like um, smart casual, casual smart, smart casual. Maybe it was an advert. It looks kind of like that, right? The top half looks like, you know, very you know i don't know i don't guess i don't say regal but very uh well done and then the bottom half is just like and then she's got the weird jola puma hands here the annoying hands oh you don't know what to do with your hands you put them in a weird position it's just a very very bizarre cover to do um especially when you consider how they're trying to paint this as like such a mom momentous thing and you know again no one's kind of talking about um kamala harris's political um or, or especially her her history in the cause prior to this so they point out to one side and just kind of propping up the fact that she's a person of color um that she's a woman first woman vice president blah 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 blah, blah. you'd imagine the first cover would be a little bit more stately like which is what you get in the alternate cover which i much prefer this cover is way better right it's her like in a sky blue suit um very well done uh an american pin placed there on one of her lapels the hair even suits the outfit more because i think with this outfit that's sort of like wafty sort of 50s american mum thing wife next door hair doesn't really suit the outfit but with this outfit it looks really really good and also it hides the, sh the the shoes you don't get to see it the only thing that's odd is the bit behind it looks like a coffin or is that meant to be a kitchen table that's a bit odd too right she's in the kitchen standing in front of a curtain i don't know what that is all about but maybe it's just a set design but i think the second cover the alternate cover is much better but i think this attempt for her to be somewhat relatable just doesn't come off that well um skinny jeans ankle showing i don't know man it's just a very dated look for somebody older that's the thing is that it's not a look that you'd want to see an older politician um especially a woman wear right you'd want to kind of make it seem a little bit you kind of want to act like you've been here before is that right maybe is that right yeah act like you've been here before don't act like you know this whole gimmick just doesn't work you know what i mean it just no one believes it it's a very strange choice to do so yeah um interesting cover nonetheless again i would per much prefer the second cover i think it just fits a lot better um she obviously looks much better in it as well um and overall considering what they're trying to paint this moment as this probably fits the occasion a lot better than the first but hey you've got to do what you have to do in it let me know in the comments below what your cover you like the best if you don't like any of them i'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter.